Good morning, this is Miss Amanda at Bruton Memorial Library in Plant City, Florida, and today we are going to read The Warisaurus by Rachel Bright and Chris Chatterton. On a hot and sunny morning, under lovely clear blue skies, a little Warisaurus was opening his eyes. He brushed his tiny pointy teeth, then washed his top and tail. He packed a little bag of snacks and set off on a trail. He skipped along with happy legs across the golden sand and thought about the day that he had plotted, sketched, and planned. A lovely, yummy picnic, a delicious summer spread. Worisaurus liked it when he knew what lay ahead. But he hadn't gotten far, you see, it hadn't been that long, before his busy head dreamed up some things that might go wrong. Had he made enough to eat today? and brought enough to drink? This Warisaurus often was one to overthink. What if I get lost, he thought, or trip and have a fall? His happy legs were slowing to a snuffly, shuffly crawl. Warisaurus liked it when he felt he was prepared. Unexpected happenings, they made him feel quite scared. So when, <sighs> suddenly from nowhere, a lizard skirted by, shouting in a squeaky yelp, and pointing to the sky. <gasps> I think a storm is coming. I heard it's on its way. Well, that really put a cloud above Warisaurus day. A storm, said Warisaurus, when it's so dry and hot and sunny. But the news became a butterfly that flittered in his tummy. I'm not ready for the rain, he said. I haven't got my wellies. His teeth began to chatter and his knees, they turned to jellies. And all the while the sky was blue, the sun it shone and shone. But now his lovely picnic thoughts were definitely gone. Should he find a cave to shelter or run back home and hide? His little worry butterfly grew very strong inside. But then he thought of something that his mama liked to say. Oh, my little worrysaurus, chase that butterfly away. Don't you worry now, my lovely, you must try not to fret. If it's not a happy ending, then it hasn't ended yet. So he reached into his bag just then to find a little tin. It helped him with his worries. It had happy things within. A special stick, his teddy Ned, a pebble, and a letter. And he held them one by one so everything felt better. Then he put away his tin and all his worries in his head, freed his little butterfly for happy thoughts instead. I'll stand up tall, I can be strong. I'll chase my fears away. All is good and all is well and everything's okay. And with those little wordlings, he calmed his busy brain. Since when the sun is shining, why worry it will rain? So he shared his little picnic with the lizard in the sun and they laughed at all the worrying and really had some fun. Since when you're in the moment, there's no need to run or hide. And then the only butterflies will be the ones outside. <laughs>